folks, my next guest is a stand-up comedian and an Emmy award-winning actor. Please welcome Louis Anderson. Good to see you again. It's so great to be here. This is my third time. That's it. I'm excited. Yeah, third time's a charm. We're going to get it yes. right this time. Now, the last time you were here, we, ta we talked about this briefly, yes. uh, that you're one of 11 children and I'm one of 11 children. I think I'm 10th and you're 11th, right? That's exactly right. Yeah, yes. exactly. It's great to be... Well, it's great for me to be the baby. Did you feel enough like the baby at 10? Um, Younger you know, brother or sister below you? Younger brother. Okay. So... I think I did in a lot of ways because I'm like my mom's sidekick. You know what I mean? You know those clammy kids that, you know, grab their mom's dress and then just are up against them? Yes. They're hitting me, mother. You know, from my old... I mean, you know, I think I was in fear of my life. Because when you have, you know, five brothers and five sisters, you know. Sure, I had eight brothers and three sisters. Oh, my God, yeah. eight. So your sure. right arm, you can't even raise it this high. <laughs> I was used as a wrestling dummy when yes. I was a child. Because a couple of my brothers were all state wrestlers. And, and they would say, come here, I'm going to put you in a German headlock. It's illegal. <laughs> and you didn't know any better. Or oh, what? I was thrilled. It was, I was oh, kind of thrilled just to right, get the you're attention. Right. It's true. Just to, I kind of miss being beaten up by my brothers. It was good to get punched when they'd walk by. Ow! Yes. Thank you. <laughs> it was an act of love. It was. There is, yeah. a, there is that... I guess it's being accepted into the clan, because 11 and is a clan, isn't it? You're blood in, blood out. Blood in, yeah. blood out. Now, do you have, as the youngest, do you have any advice for, like, youngest uh, or younger siblings? Like, Run. how to survive? Run. <laughs> Run to your mother or your father. Stand behind them and go... <laughs> and they'll beat you later. I, <laughs> I hit my brother, Jay in the shins. When I was just like three years old, I found a ball-peen hammer. Oh. And Jay's 11 no years my peen. senior. That's good, yeah. uh, uh, He's 11 years my senior, and I whacked him in the shins as hard as a three-year-old could with a ball-peen hammer, dropped the hammer and ran away giggling <laughs> to my sister Lulu, yes. who was like, my sisters were like other mothers of me, and I ran behind them, and my sister Lulu said, oh, what, the little baby hurt you? And Jay said, yes, give him to me. <laughs> that I might hurt him in return. So that's what you learn as a kid. Run fast. And, and did they did they give... Never no. gave me up. They wouldn't. They no. protect you. The, the girls protect you. Yeah, my, if, my sister said they're surprised I ever learned to walk because they carried me everywhere. Well, I was a big baby, so they did oh, not yeah. carry me everywhere. Um, well, you got, you got a... New, the new book here is yes. called... Uh, it's called Hey, Mom... And that is you on the cover. That is me on that the cover. That is you on the cover. Yes. And last time I heard you said you sort of, you based your, your character from yeah. Baskets a little bit on your mom. Yeah, definitely on my and, mom. And here's your mom. Here's your, here's your mom right picture. there. Yeah, hey, yeah. mom. That's nice. So, yeah, this character, when I started playing a woman, first of all, I learned so much. Mm -hmm. But second of all, I'm playing a mother who's very fiercely, you know, protecting her sons and, and yelling at them and just really... And I said, I'm, be, I'm becoming... I'm becoming J Zach Galifianakis' mother. You know what I mean? I was, sure. I was like, treating him. I'd wipe something off him. Or you know, like, off straighten camera. His but every yes, and on camera, and the character became, you know, really strong and, and really a powerful person in the show. And I decided I needed to write a letter to my mom mm -hmm. thanking her and asking her some questions about what it must have been like I mean, you know, I was 10th. What's it like to bring your 10th kid home? Is it a sack of potatoes thing where you just, <laughs> take him, he's russets. <laughs> were, did, they, did she hover over you or were you kind of free range? I was, no, they, my mom knew where we were. She All had some kind of like that owl eyesight where if you moved, you would be picked up, mm -hmm. you know? She would just, mm -hmm. you, could, you could see her from in the house. <laughs> mom's controlled by looks you know your dad's tough but your mom's really tough when i got in trouble i didn't run home and get my dad i got my mom 
because oh. kids would go, get out of here. He's getting his mom. <laughs> she killed a bat yesterday. <laughs> well, you, you dedicate, like, each chapter is a letter to your mom. What are the things that you wanted your mom to know? Well, like, what are some of the things that you, you talked to her about? I wanted to know what a jerk I was sometimes, and I was oh, an sure. ungrateful kid, and I was mean to her sometimes even as an adult. You know, I got so full of myself as an actor and a comedian. I had some success, and I treated her poorly compared to how I should have. Mm -hmm. And so I took that opportunity to say that because I wanted this book to really have a complete picture mm -hmm. of me and my family with my mom. And also, I wanted to ask her questions, and I wanted to find out, what did she see in Dad? You know? <laughs> Oh, yeah, because my dad was really kind of a you yeah, know he it, was an alcoholic and abusive and what did how did she how did you know I understand when you have ten kids back then or eleven kids you don't just pick up and leave because it was it's not the system it is now where there are places people can go but mm -hmm. you know what did she see in him there must have been some kind of unbelievable love there mm -hmm. and you know I would have asked her all those kind of questions and also what did she not get to do because of us. Sure. You know? What do you think she wanted to do? Was there some dream she had she couldn't follow? I think she would have wanted to be an actress, maybe, or... or My mom, too. Yeah, yeah so, she definitely wanted to be an actress, yeah. And so they, you're not going to be an actress when you have 11 children? Oh. I mean, you're no. going to act like you like all those kids, <laughs> but... <laughs> and so I feel like when I got the Emmy, I won the Emmy for this the first year. I was very fortunate. Mm -hmm. And when I got up there, I go, we did it, Mom! And to me, that was like a big thing. Thing for me, mm. because I, you know, I believe I always. The reason it's called "Hey Mom" is because my whole life, even after she went, I go, "Hey Mom, what do you think of this?" When something would go on, sure, you know, I'd go, "What do you think of this?" Hey, is Dad up in heaven with you, or did they kick him out? And uh, <laughs> you know, all those kind of things. You know, I have a very nostalgic and wonderful. You know, I love my mom. She was the greatest. Mm -hmm. See, those conversations are the best, yeah. even now. Louis, it's good to see you. Thank, Thank you. you for being here. His book, Hey Mom, is out now. Louis Anderson, everybody. We'll be right back. <laughs>